Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Instructs9 and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Jessica Jones. We're doing Season 1, Episode 11 called, aka, I Got the Blues. So we start off with a flashback with Jessica is awake and in the hospital after her surgery and everything. And basically she's getting adopted by uh, Trisha's mother's um, family. So... I can't remember the mom's name, to be quite honest. But anyway, so um, she's been adopted by the Walkers in a publicity stunt by her mother to help bolster Trisha's fame and her, because uh, she has a television show called Patsy. And then um, Jones discovers her abilities um, soon after, after she's already living there for like a couple weeks. Same way we go to back to the present day, where it's just mayhem everywhere. Let me get back to my look at there we go. So anyway, we get back to um, the present day where it's just mayhem everywhere, and basically she tells that creepy sister neighbor to just to shut up so she can think. And basically, what they did was all the people cover for Jessica. Saying that wasn't her fault, someone else made her do it. So, um, this is soon after the freaking um, restaurant thing that happened. So, uh, then Trish picks her up and they go into the morgue. Then, uh, they're trying to pimp, she tries to pimp out the uh, Trish to the uh, the morgue guy, and it works. And they, basically, what they did was they literally um, said, Oh, you want to eat at this restaurant? And Trish just calls him up, makes the reservation, and you're like, good, good. So I would try the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then, uh, so they try it. Um, it's not the guy. Then Jess goes to every single hospital. And see, she's doing this nonstop. She's been awake the entire time. So she was starting to get a little fatigued. And Trish was like, look, you need to take care of yourself. She's like, I got this. It's fine. So uh, she didn't get this, and she got hit by a car. And I'm uh, following the guy because it looked like Kilgrave because he was wearing like a fancy, a fancy purple-ish suit, but it wasn't. And then, uh, then we have Simpson shows up at Trisha's uh, uh, job and basically tells her that he quit the program and basically trying to say blah blah blah. I'm here for you. And then da 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 da. She just kind of bosom off like, "Look, I'm at work. I'll talk to you later." Like. Go. Bye-bye. <laughs> and then, uh, then we cut to where Trish picks um, up Jessica and plastic wraps for her injuries. Basically, um, she cracked a couple of ribs when she got hit by the car. So basically, um, they use plastic wrap to help everything stay where it needs to stay with ice packs and stuff at her apartment. Now, a flashback where Jessica discovers that she's strong. And basically breaks the kitchen sink. Or not the kitchen sink, the bathroom sink. And a hair first it was a hairbrush, then it was a sink. And she was like lifting it over head when the um Trish comes in and here's our well first she heard Artery and then Trish came into the bathroom and then they agreed to be quiet about it and she wanna talk about how Trish is getting um bruises and how Jessica is super strong. And then we go to present day where Jessica goes to another morgue and it's not the guy again, but found Clemens burned. And then Trish is meeting her at the apartment, but Simpson shows up and then his friends show up and he goes crazy on them and basically took a bunch of, um, of his regimen pills and goes off on them. And then I uh, calls. Jessica and basically fakes her out and says like um basically that um so hey Trish is on her way to her apartment let's meet up and talk how we get rid of Kilgrave but he actually locked up Trish in a room then Simpsons at Jessica's apartment and so they talk and then she trips him up and then he goes crazy and then they fight and it was like a really good fight scenes and stuff and basically, Simpson threw her through a wall. And then Trish comes in and helps, and she takes the pills, and then she uh, goes berserk. But Simpson tries to warn her, 
and about the it's like you gotta have the blue pills to come down. And but she took it anyway. And then it's Trish versus Simpson, then versus Jessica. And Jessica finally KOs him. And then Trish is passing out and she can't breathe because um, the red is basically like a accelerant and it keeps you revved up and your body forgets how to do stuff like breathe. So she's freaking out. Then Jessica calls the ambulance. Then I have a flashback where the mom is making Trish throw up because she wanted a pizza. And so then Jessica confronts her and basically throws her across the room and just says like, hey, I got your back. And if you ever need anything, you know, try to be sisterly, basically, towards Trish. And then we have uh, the first day where Trish is going to be okay. Uh, the ambulance guy kind of helped her out. And then we cut to where Malcolm talks to the sister upstairs, Ruben's sister, and then tries to calm her down. Then the army gets Simpson from Jessica's apartment. Then Malcolm ignores what's happening at Jessica's and goes into his goes into his apartment. Then Kilgrave texts her about uh, killing Cage. So she runs to the bar and the bar literally blows up, but Cage walks out in flames, but he's fine. So crazy episode, dude. So freaking crazy. It was so good. I had to give this an A+. Plus. I mean, it's been so far like an A plus series so far. I like how everything's just happening, but I feel like if the episodes were, if there was more episodes, they could have drawn out since then going insane a little bit uh, quicker. I mean, a little bit, uh, they could stretch that out a little bit. So it won't be like, oh, like, I'm crazy now. But, you know, that's just the nature of these 13 episodes. Stuff turns on a dime. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But other than that, great, fantastic episode. And you get to see more of how Jessica was as a kid and how she went through stuff and how to deal with the walkers who adopted her. So I'm very interested to see what's going to happen next. And I think that's what I'm doing for this video. So if you like this video and my dog, please give it a like. Comment down below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree or disagree? And if you have any other suggestions, let me know down there in the comment section. And... Subscribe and I'll see y'all in my next video. And shout out, I got a new subscriber. Thank you for subscribing. Y'all have a good one. Bye.